Well, it's been a long road back to title contention and a heavyweight championship opportunity for this man, but he has put in all the right work, and a lot of people give him a great chance to get the job done tonight. You know, when you've been there and you get back here, it's not new. There are a lot of things that are familiar, but how do you change the result? How do you assure that in this time, during this chance, you ultimately walk away with the championship? He's been here before, John. The team's been here before. They are confident that this time they get it done. And that self-belief is rooted in the preparation, right? He's got speed, he's got power, all the tools to wrest the belt away. We'll see if we have a new UFC heavyweight champion by next time. Tyson's in the game, ladies and gentlemen. Last boxing competition for him against Kevin McBride in 2005. He loves this mixed martial arts stuff. You know about his appetite for competition. This, feel, this felt like an eventuality. Tyson on the biggest stage tonight. Yeah, it always felt like Mike Tyson would make his way here because he loves fighting so much. And he loves mixed martial arts so much. But if you ever thought a guy could cross over from boxing with the athleticism, you thought it was Iron Mike Tyson. He was so fast, he was so gifted. He's an A-plus athlete. And if he commits himself to the wrestling like he did boxing, I imagine Tyson will find a lot of success inside the octagon. Once the baddest man on the planet, trying to realize that distinction again, albeit in a different combat sports setting. We'll see how it goes for Iron Mike tonight. Mike Tyson. He has graced the octagon. It means we are ready to go with our main event of the evening. Our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Kid Dynamite. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Mike Tyson. Herbert Dean's in the building. Right. He's the third man in the octagon right. tonight. All right, so here we go with this highly anticipated stand-up only event. You gotta play by the rules here. They're on the ton of them, but there is no grappling of any type, either on the feet or on the ground. Fighters cannot do follow-up strikes on the floor as well, so that bears watching here as round one gets underway. Big shot to the head. Oh, he found the target again. Another right hand lands. Overhand left counter. That's a big strike right there. Well, you know the book on this guy, very cerebral and tactical on the feed, and there is that inside leg kick. Just a quick switch to the hips, and boom, inside leg kick lands. Keeping him honest with the jab. Frantic pace early on to this one. by him there. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Ooh, nice defense. I thought that punch might get through. 
Well, he's connected on a few hooks so far here in the round, and there it is again. So every time he goes back to the well with that hook, he seems to find the target. He does a great job of finding the placement on that shot. It is a great weapon to have. Take many of those. Well, maybe he'll look to set up that hook again. Oh. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Oh. Going out the body with that hook. Well done there by Tyson. Targeting the body with the kick now. On oh, again. Don't stop. Keep going. Keep nice going. defense there. Huge block. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Swing and a miss by Tyson. Oh, beautiful count. So he needs to mix it up. He needs to start kicking more. Superman punch lands. Misses again with a right punch. Lands with the lead right. Oh, and he just continues to punish his opponent with that hook. I'm not sure how many more he can take. He will not be able to take many more. He better understand that it only takes one in the perfect spot to end your night. Splits on the elbow. He can barely stand. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that finish. Swing and a miss by Tyson. Oh, man, he put on the best poker face he could there, but he is just getting punished continuously by that hook. He is getting dominated with one singular strike. It's amazing to watch. Truly a great performance by this young fighter. All right, so we'll see what sort of defensive response ensues here. He's taken a lot of shots upstairs, and the swelling is there to prove it. Got to keep those hands up. He might want to employ a high guard to try to ensure that the guy's not landing on those spots. Because the swelling starting now, it's like if he takes many more of these types of shots, he's going to get real bad. Ten seconds to go in the round. Oh, and he caught the kick. Oh. Round two is next. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint, DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, second round underway. All right, this should be good as our next round gets underway. We nearly had a knockout in the previous round, but the corner seems to think they have their fighter back in the game. It felt fun watching such an exciting moment, but it is a testament to this fighter and the toughness and the durability that he possesses that he's still here right now with an opportunity still to win the fight. Well, informed speculation says he's going to try to set up another hook here. Just misses with a left hook there. All right, so that calf really starting to show signs of bruising. He's got to address it now. He's got to start to check these kicks. Tyson gets caught with that punch. 
dude's in a good flow state, landing punch after punch. And that one certainly found the target. Over and over, those guys getting hit right in his face. the well with the uppercut now it's true oh you can hear the crowd reaction every time he lands another hook the previous round it was hooks and bunches more of the same here. more of the same john you watch a guy who's in a flow who's in a rhythm who's in a position where they don't feel like they could ever miss that shot and that's what we're witnessing tonight oh nice block Pretty good jab there by Tyson. Oh man, another strike targeting that bruised area on the cap. And now you can start to see it build. And he's really struggling to stand on that lead leg, get pressure on that lead leg. Oh, great head movement there, slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming. And when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, he's out of the way and avoid those shots. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Oh, that's a brutal cut on his nose there. He is bleeding. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Oh, double jab splits the guard. Great defensive skills. He blocked that punch. Another trade huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Just missed with the leg kick. Duel between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only going to continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. Lands to the body there. Different round, and the striking clinic continues. Shades of Max Holloway back in the day against Calvin Cater. Every strike he has thrown seemingly is finding the target. I tonight. mean, it's, it's landing. Everything is landing, J.A. And coming into this fight, he understood that he had an advantage in this particular skill. I don't know if he could have even expected it to be this vast as we have seen to this point in the fight. Oh, huge Superman punch. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas. Well, he's looking for that left hand just out of range, though, with it. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. So there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, so a big knockdown for him courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well. But when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage him. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round on the way. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high 
number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Defense, nice block. Nice, good strikes. Keep going forward. Oh, Stay heavy on that cut. Let's go. Hit it. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Jab, nice stick. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Both fighters starting to open up a little bit. He's got to start checking kicks. Just over three minutes to go. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the early... Oh! You heard it bad. Oh, beautifully placed with the hook there by Tyson. Just out of range with that strike. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. So we have crossed the midpoint. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Well, confidence is high. I repeat, confidence is high. And I got to think when you knock a fighter down in the previous round, that's going to think you can do it again. I mean, confidence is key in anything you do in regards to fighting. So for him to secure that knockdown early, he has to feel good going forward. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. Big right hook there by the champ. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. And there it is again, targeting that swelling. Why would you not, right? You doled out all this damage. Might as well, might as well go right back to it. Well, especially if your opponent is not going to move his head. He's still trying to go out on his shield. He's, he's so stubborn in trying to prove that he's tough. It's really costing him right now. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Able to block the punch there. Just misses with that one. Counters with the left hook. Nicely done there. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes. He continues to light him up. Oh, another one. Oh, he gets back up, but barely. Look how wobbly he is. Well, at this point, DC, I'm not sure if he's just biding his time or just trying to get some extra reps, but go finish them. It seems like the guy's playing with his food. You know, he's having a good time out there. Everything's working. He's in the zone. It feels like at any moment he can end the night of his opponent. But he seems to be having fun. And, hey, to each his own, I guess, I'd be rushing out of that octagon. Yeah, you don't play with food. No.
but let's get it to Bruce Buffer. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop to this contest at four minutes, 56 seconds of round number three. Playing the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Iron Mike Tyson. Well, who would have thought that the former boxing champion, 